So in this tutorial, I'm gonna go over the assignment 65, which is the weight versus normal force. As you know, weight never changes unless you go outside the earth. And um, of course, the normal force changes uh, if you changes the situation. We're gonna give you six different examples to understand this concept. Let's start with the first one. Uh, first one, I'm gonna ask you to uh, put a box on a table, okay? The box is at rest, all right? So the box is 10 kilogram. I ask you to find the weight, okay? So how can you find weight? Okay, so today we're gonna to use G is equal to negative 10 meter per second squared. That's the acceleration due to gravity, okay? So we can use the mental math. Now, what is this one? FG is equal to MG. So M is equal to 10, uh, of course, kilogram. And this is uh, uh, 10 meter per second square, right? Negative. So you have a negative 100 Newton, or you just gonna write FG is 100 Newton because there is a arrow downward, so you don't have to write negative. And then FN, of course, this is normal force. Fn would be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. How do we know? We know it because the object is at rest. So all the forces cancel each, each other. So this is this body is in equilibrium. Why this body is in equilibrium? Because the net force is zero. All right. So that's problem number one. Now this takes us to problem number two. Problem number two, now the same box. Now I'm gonna have someone pull the box. If you pull the box, what happened? The box is 10 kilogram boxes sitting on the table. And of course, someone pulled the box with, of course, pull the box with, of course, I don't know, let's say 40 Newton. If it does pull the box with 40 Newton, the weight of the box changes. No, it doesn't. The weight of the box is remain the same. Fg is still equal to 100 Newton. As I said that the weight never changes unless you go outside the earth, okay? We are not. Uh, going outside the earth for assignment 65. We're going to be inside the earth or we're going to be on the earth. There is no such thing as inside the earth. We're going to be on the earth. Okay. Uh, now, the table is what is normal force? Normal force is a table reaction. Table reaction. Okay. If you have one kilogram object sitting on the table, one kilogram object sitting on the table, okay? The weight would be, of course, a 10 Newton. And if someone pull it by, of course, 10 Newton, then normal force would be zero. Why? Because the object would be moving up with constant velocity. Okay, you get it. So now, the table reaction, what do we call normal force? Table reaction would be 10 minus 40. Is it equilibrium? Yeah, because 100 minus 100 is zero. So it is equilibrium because that force is still zero. Move to number three. Number three, instead of pulling it up, you're gonna pull it to the angle to the right. 10 kilogram, you pull it, FP is, uh, or no, uh, let's say 40 Newton at 30 degree angle. Okay, now, I want you to find the normal force. Again, if someone pulling 40 Newton at 30 degree angle, does it change the, the weight? No, it doesn't. The weight is still the same. Fg is 100 Newton because we are not moving outside the earth. Good. Normal force. Yeah, normal force changes because this is weight and the box is at rest, by the way. Uh, so weight is 100 Newton and this is no friction, no friction. No friction, no friction. Okay, all right, so the, the this would be uh, uh, how much? There are two components of this. Uh, let's do it here. So F, Paul, F, um, which is 40, cosine 30, and 40 sine 30. This one would be 40 sine 30, right? Y direction. So 40 sine 30 is 20. So F pole is 20. F pole is 20 Newton. Okay? And now, what would be the table reaction? Of course, table reaction this time would be not 100, uh, not 60, as you see the scenario too, is gonna be only 80, because it only needs 80 uh, to keep the body at rest. 
So 80 plus 20 is 100, minus 100 is zero. Object is in equilibrium because net force is zero. All right, moving on. Number four. Number four is interesting. Why is that? Is because I do, I don't I have no mass. No mass is given. Now you're pulling it 90 degree, 90 newton with a 30 degree angle. Good. Now I want you to. I gave you a hint, and that is a constant velocity. Now the object is moving. The object is moving with constant velocity. Now, what does that what does that mean? Is it still in equilibrium? Yeah, because uh, the condition for equilibrium is has to be net force is zero. So the, it is equilibrium because uh, net force is still zero. All the object is uh, moving. So equilibrium because net force is zero. This is at rest equilibrium. This is at rest equilibrium. This is at rest equilibrium. This is moving, but it's still equilibrium because the net force is zero. So we always use the definition to see whether object is equilibrium or not in equilibrium. Okay, good. Now, what we gonna find? We're gonna find both components because both components gonna uh, affects what what's going on, affects the normal force. And that's what we find. We're trying to find. So um, let's find the on the both component. So this is apple. Apple has a p x a p y a p x is of course you have ninety cosine thirty which is uh, uh, cosine thirty is point eight seven so this is seventy eight newton and ninety sine thirty which is point five so point five this is forty five newton now let's draw the free body diagram you have f a f pole x and f f it is uh, constant velocity meaning this one uh, has to cancel with this one right so there would be no net force. Net force has to be zero at the x direction. What does that mean? That means this one, if this one is 78 newton, this one has to be 78 newton. Now, the normal force equation is mu k fn. So normal force, um, uh, ff equation. So normal force is, uh, of course, ff over mu k, right? So the ff is, of course, uh, let's see, ff. ff is 78. And mu k is given. I give you a problem, uh, mu k. So in this case, they don't give you mu k, no friction, no friction, no friction, but all of a sudden there is a friction. Did I say no friction? No friction, yeah. This one is a friction, yeah. 0.4, given. Um, so this is uh, 78 divided by 0.4, 195 uh, Newton. This is 10 kilograms, so we're gonna find the FG. FG is, of course, uh, 100 Newton, but let's draw the arrow. So this is your FG, this is your uh, F G uh, perpendicular. This is your F N. This is your F G parallel. F G parallel is parallel with the incline, and incline is 30 degree. Now we want to find two other thing. First, we want to find the normal force, and then we want to find the acceleration. What is the normal force? Again, F G has two component, as you see. F G parallel. F G perpendicular. F G parallel is M G uh, sine 30. M G uh, and this has another name. F N. This is mg cosine 30, and this is, of course, ff, right? We need ff when we do the normal uh, force, uh, but not normal force when we find the acceleration. Acceleration is usually uh, uh, g sine theta, right? But, but if there is no friction, but there is a friction over here, and mu k is 0.3, so there is a friction. Okay, good. Now, we want to find the normal force. Normal force is mg cosine theta, so fn is m is 10, g is 10, and cosine is 30, so cosine 30 is 0 0.87, 100 times 0 0.87 is 87 newton. So normal force is 87 newton. Of course, uh, they are not, equi uh, the box is, e box is not in equilibrium, not in equilibrium. Why not? equilibrium. Why not equilibrium? Is because there is a net force. If you subtract them, you're going to see the net force. And therefore, because net force is not zero. Okay, good. Now, we are going to find the acceleration. We're going to start with Newton's second law, F equal m n. Of course, all the forces. What are the forces? You have F g parallel. You have uh, minus. You have F f is equal to m a. F g parallel is m g sine uh, theta minus uh, uh, minus uh, mu k uh, mg cosine theta is equal to m m m m cancel so you have acceleration is g sine theta minus mu k g cosine theta now 
this is uh, 10 sine 30 this is uh, 0.3 10 cosine 30 right so this is 2 point and this is 5 because this is 0.5 so 5 minus 2.4 so acceleration is 2.6 meter per second squared unless your acceleration so we have everything 2.6 meter per second squared <coughs> now we're going to do the last problem from the do now to help you understand the difference between the normal force and the weight uh, this time i'm going to put you in the elevator let's see what happens if i put you in the elevator so the elevator is there is an elevator and um, uh, let's let's put you over here in this one all right so you are let's say 10 kilogram right uh, and elevator is accelerating downward with two meter per second is good. now you should you feel lighter of course you feel lighter uh, why do you feel lighter because accelerating downward and if someone cut the rope you're going to feel weightless anyway uh, so f n is equal to m g minus a of course because you feel lighter uh, by the way what is uh, fg fg is still 100 newton so you feel lighter means it's going to be less than 100 newton. so what is that so this is 10 this is uh, 10 minus 2 of course fn is 80 how much do you feel lighter uh, you feel uh, 20 newton lighter which is not a lot but at, at least which is not going to give you a sensation uh, in, uh, uh, to, to feel sensation this one has to be like zero or close to zero then you will feel feel sensation uh, anyway speaking of sensation uh, let me give you a sensation uh, let me go to the big idea okay good uh, this is a roller coaster hmm. all right so let's draw the free body let's see the roller coaster is 1200 gram 1200 kilogram right uh, to, um, today our main goal is to understand the difference between weight and normal force and now uh, what is the weight Weight is, uh, of course, um, 12,000 Newton. Now, what is the normal force? To understand the normal force, uh, many students in the classroom draw the normal force like this, and that would be the wrong. This is not the normal force. This is this is wrong. The normal force, uh, let's put it at location A. Then you're going to see the normal force uh, very, um, you want to see the normal force very easily. Now, if the roller coaster moves, right? At some point, the roller coaster is going to be here, right? At some point, the roller coaster is going to be here, right? Uh, this is uh, this is not very hard to imagine. The roller coaster is going to be here. So Fg is going to be what? This is Fg, and this is normal force. So right, right? So the normal force is going to be this direction when it comes here. And so the normal force, therefore, has to be this direction. Right? F and normal force. Good. So this is not normal force. And normal force has to be uh, this direction over here. So you get it. So normal force, the direction of the normal force changes as you see it. But the direction of the weight can never change. You, you never see it, it changing because we are in on the earth. Unless you move outside the earth, then of course the weight is, uh, is, is, is changes. Uh, now we're not going to, we are on the top. We are focusing here. All right. So what is the uh, acceleration? This is acceleration this is not acceleration this is center cent, centripetal acceleration why is that uh, centripetal acceleration why is that because this is center seeking an acceleration that seek the center is center seeking the other region if the direction of the net force is down this is the direction of the net force if the direction of the net force is down, axial direction of the acceleration also has to be down. Okay, so our goal is to find that weight. We already found it. So twelve thousand newton. Now our goal is to find the uh, normal force. To find the normal force, of course, normal force probably going to be less than twelve thousand newton. And uh, and by the way, what keeps uh, what keeps this car? Um, uh, car not falling is the car falling yes the car is falling why is the car falling because the gravity is putting it down but why is not falling it's not falling because there is a velocity that keeps it not falling all right if the velocity is less than what the required velocity is then it's going to fall and then everybody going to die but that's not never going to happen is because they're always going to be required velocity if the velocity is less than required velocity then it's going to fall it's going to be in free fall in fact 
is never going to be free fall because this is like a moon. Moon is falling and not falling at the same time. Falling and not falling makes orbital. Okay, so this is Earth. This is moon. The moon is falling. Moon is falling to the Earth. And uh, moon is not falling because there is a velocity and there is a centrifugal force. Falling and not falling make it orbit around the Earth. So this is roller coaster is just like moon in the amusement park. Anyway, okay, so enough. Uh, 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 now we're going to find the normal force. To find the normal force, you're going to start our conversation with you know, second law F equal to MA. But wait a minute. This is wrong because acceleration is to the to the down. So put that, and this is also wrong because this is centripetal acceleration. So now, what are the forces? You have Fg uh, plus Fn is equal to minus mac. Wait, this is also wrong. Why this is wrong? Because Fg is downward. So make sure you write, and this is Fn is also downward. So make sure you write that up. So now, ac is v square over r, of course. So you have mv. The square r 